Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Mikey Reacts, but today we're answering two questions, one of which I neglected. I never got round to um, actually look, um, reacting to, so the first thing we're going to do is find that. Okay, so I've actually got two questions that I've answered today. Before I do that, you guys know exactly how to support the channel. Um, guys, your support so far has been absolutely amazing, so I really, really appreciate that. And it's, you're also letting me branch out and uh, talk about more uh, different topics and reply to your questions. And that's actually um, something really, really amazing for me. Sorry for that cut, just making sure the camera was straight. So yeah, you let, you're allowing me to branch out your views uh, on topics that aren't just reaction videos is absolutely amazing. Um, so the first question I'm going to answer today is by Diana, Diana Vera Turner. Uh, it was asked 16 hours ago. Uh, so I mentioned my interest in American football. I did um, a video that's up now of the craziest college football hits. I just get more and more brutal as it goes on. So you can check that out now if you're a big football fan. Now, when I'm saying football, just to clarify, I mean American football, like, you know, not soccer. Uh, I'm not really a big soccer fan, to be honest with you. I never really have been. Um, I was always into... Um, uh, rugby when I was a kid but let's get into this so are there any other American sports that you have an interest in ex uh, interest in experiencing i.e. baseball NASCAR hockey or even rodeo so I played baseball in high school um, I also played rugby in high school so we have baseball in high school believe it or not uh, in the UK not every school does but we did we had a small little league we were pretty good um, I played first base which is a difficult uh, position to play apparently um, but I was just a kid, high school kid, so I never really carried it on. So I love baseball. I haven't really watched, no, that, that's a lie, I've watched quite a bit of baseball, but I don't really support any one team. The first uh, thing or movie or even video that got me into watching baseball was weirdly was Moneyball with Brad Pitt. So I watched Moneyball and then I started watching a few Oakland A's games and then I sort of start, started branching out, watching some Phillies games. Um, so I do like baseball. Um, I would say it's like the American equivalent to cricket, but cricket's a bit more boring and they wear sweaters. So I don't really understand how it can be seen as a athletic sport, but it is, that's not me, uh, hit, that's not me um, throwing trash on cricket. It is a hard sport to play. I was actually much better at baseball than cricket. Go figure, I don't really know. Um, NASCAR, so I haven't really watched mas much NASCAR. I know the, um, I know the premise of it. Um, I also know where it came from. It came, from, I believe, if I'm correct, the history of NASCAR is um, based on like bootlegging. So when bootleggers like moonshiners used to bootleg their liquor across like state lines or whatever it is, they used to they started modifying their cars so they could get away from from cop cars from police. And supposedly, then they started racing them after, or even during the prohibition. And then after prohibition, it just carried on. I'll actually Google that and, and find out in a second. Hockey, played hockey in high school, not ice hockey, it was just normal hockey, so it's not really hockey, it's not, like, it's not really, it's not contact, we don't do contact uh, hockey in the UK. Well, we do, but not in high school anyway. Um, I don't think you guys do it in high school either, I think yours is mostly just baseball and, um, baseball and football, right? And basketball. Ah, basketball, you never asked about basketball, Diana. I was a great basketball player. I played basketball until I was like 19. But um, in high school, I grew above everyone else. I'm like 6'1". Oh, let me plug my laptop in. Um, in high school, I played basketball. So I grew above everyone else. I was like 6'1". Um, well, I'm 6'1 now. So in high school, I was like six foot. And um, so I was taller than most people. So I was a great basketball player first player that I was able to dunk um, but as I turned into an adult I stopped growing at 6'1 and then obviously basketball players end up growing to like 7 foot 7 you know uh, like Shaq was like 7'1 right I'm not comparing myself to Shaq obviously um, Shaquille O'Neal is a different story so I was never gonna go and play professionally or even semi-professionally but I still love the game it's still a fun game to play um, and I, I left this one till last, and that is rodeo. Um, yes, I love the rodeo. So 
obviously going, spending a lot of my summers in Florida growing up. Um, there's a, uh, it's on a Westgate Lakes, West, it's owned by Westgate Lakes and it's a ranch and it used to be a functioning ranch and it still kind of is, but now it is like a resort. But they do a rodeo every Saturday, uh, Friday, every Friday night they do a rodeo. So um, I went last summer twice um, and I did, did used to go in the summer times. Uh, so we started going as a family. Uh, we went once because my dad was interested. He went with his cousin to see what it was like. He fell in love with it. And uh, so I went every summer, uh, realistically. So um, I still go as often as possible. And rodeo is something that I really, really like. In fact, I would out, so I'm, I'm a really good um, horseman. Uh, I've been riding horses since I was a kid. So I know everything there is to know about horse, not everything there is to know about horses, I know how to ride a horse. I never really got into the whole um, doing it as a sport because I, I, don't, I didn't find interest in that, but I love being with horses, I love riding. The freedom that you get is amazing. And I also grew up around cattle, like, so I don't have any neighbors back home in the UK. I have neighbors to my left and my right, but across the street, um, it's just fields, about 15, 20 miles of fields and that is just farmland and cows uh, graze. You see them every single morning when you wake up, you've got sheep. It's amazing. So I grew up on farmland. Um, so, and my granddad used to own a farm actually back in Cyprus years and years and years ago. So um, yeah, so yeah, rodeo is uh, one of my favorite pastimes, 100%. I've even got the boots and the hat to go with it. Um, at this point, my fiance is getting mad at me for buying too many boots. Um, I'm like on pair number 10 right now. The first pair I ever bought was some um, Ariats. Yeah, yeah, Ariats. And they had this little American flag on the back. Really, really nice brown leather. I, I, I love my boots and I love the rodeo. So that was a great question, question Deanna. Uh, Miss Vera Turner, awesome question. Um, and yes, that is me and that is sports. I've always been uh, athletic. Um, I was never really good like at cardio stuff when I was growing up, but because um, I was born with asthma and then I grew out of it. And once I grew out of it, um, I just started flying. Um, I didn't play American football because it's not so big in the UK until I was like 18 and I, I played like a couple seasons and I had great fun. Um, but I was always better at playing rugby because I, I was more familiar with it. But I was a great rugby player because of my size as well. I was like, 18 years old, weighing 210 pounds. No, no, not 210. I'm like, two, I'm like 225 now. About 200 pounds as an 18 year old. So I was, I was, a, good, I was a good football player, athletically built. So yeah, that's, that, I, I'm, I love sports. Um, I'd love to do some more sports reactions, but this one that I did on the NFL, on, it wasn't the NFL, on college football, it was like um, the, it wasn't YouTube. Someone claimed the copyright content for it. So I'm not making any money on that at all. And to be fair, it's not doing so well. Um, so, I mean, I'll do some more for sure because it's not just about monetization. I like to make videos that you enjoy. So if you guys who are watching, do enjoy watching uh, me react to like American football hits, or if you've got a favorite team and you've got a favorite play that you want me to watch, because there's always a famous play, um, some great, great stuff. And I would recommend to you, if you haven't already, and I, it should be on Netflix in, in the US, because it's on Netflix in the UK, and here in the UAE. Uh, have you ever watched Last Chance U? It's about a group of junior college kids. Um, it's about a football team and they take uh, some junior college kids that have messed up. They went to like D1 colleges, like division one colleges and they messed up and now they're back playing D2 um, junior college level football, but they absolutely dominate. And it's honestly, it's great to see. Um, it's great to see the lives of these kids being turned around through sports. Absolutely fantastic. And obviously my favorite part of it is when they actually play, um, you get to see up close, the, the videography is amazing. You don't see the full game, obviously, because you'd be there for like an hour and a half, but not an hour, but yeah. So that was a great question. And now I had one more question that I had in my mind. So let me just go to it, go to my channel and I will see the question just up here. I think it shouldn't be too, too much of a long one for you. So we go to community. Awesome. This is, this is, I know this might be a long one. This is a difficult question to answer, but it's by, it's from Anne B. It was nine days ago. So Anne, I'm sorry for taking nine days to answer your question, 
but here it is. And as soon as I post or reply to this video, in fact, um, as soon as I post this video, I'm gonna to reply to your comment so you, so you know that I've reacted to it and you can have a look. Okay, so the question is, um, Anne's always enjoy people answering this question, by the way, guys, so she might be having some fun with me here. Besides friends and family, if you had one hour to talk to anyone in the world, who would it be and why? So, it's a good question. I'm gonna give you two answers. Because the first one for me is, is an easy answer. Unfortunately, this man has passed away. So, I don't know if you meant dead or alive, or just alive, but uh, if you guys are familiar with the book Band of Brothers, um, you 100, and obviously the TV series, but aside from just the, the video cinematic aspect of it, if you're familiar with the history um, of the 101st Airborne in the Second World War, um, you will know who I'm talking about. I would like to speak to Richard Winters, Major Richard Winters, I believe. He retired Major. Um, why? Because first of all, his leadership was impeccable. Uh, there's a lot you can learn from Major Richard Winters. He was an incredible human being. Um, and secondly, because uh, his because of his experiences are just second to none. So imagine going from being a regular guy to completing your training. You jump into Normandy, and then you take it all the way to the end of the Second World War, having gone to Bastogne, Eindhoven, you know, taking part in Operation Market Garden, um, liberated concentration camps. Uh, gone to Hitler's eagle, eagle's nest, you know, uh, all the way, to, all the way in Berchtesgaden, and seen all of that um, in you know one lifetime. In the in the course of a year and a half, he experienced all of these things. Of course, as did all the men, all the surviving men of the 101st Airborne Division in the Second World War. Um, some of the greatest human beings I believe to ever have walked this earth, um, and that is who I would spend my time with. Uh, that is who I would spend the hour with, and I wouldn't want to insult him by asking him, you know, uh, too many intrusive questions. But there are so many things that I'd like to hear about. In fact, on that note, about five years ago, uh, me and Tash, we went to. Um, if you've watched the series, you know exactly where I'm talking about. We went to Bastogne. We went to the Ardennes Forest. So we took a, a flight. No, we took a train from London to Brussels, and then a train from Brussels to Bastogne, which is obviously a city. And we then walked um, six kilometers, so about four miles to the Ardennes Forest. And if you go there, there is not only a memorial for the 101st Airborne who fought there, the foxholes, the holes in the ground that they used to protect themselves from falling artillery shells, German 88, they're still there and they're still kept intact. And you can stand on the tree line and look over the town of Foy and uh, you can stand, in theory, in the exact spot that Richard Winters, so um, uh, Major Richard Winters, stood at uh, as he watched the advance, the American advance on the town of Foy, um, ultimately resulting in the town being taken and an American victory. Um, that is who I would uh, talk to for an hour. Now, if the rules of the game are so that it must be someone who's alive, oof. I probably should have thought about this one before I actually answered the question. But I suppose you're seeing the whole thinking process happening now. Ooh. I'm stumped. Ah, okay, this might be a common theme. This might be a common theme um, with uh, ex-military people, but this is not because of his military experience. The one person I would spend an hour with, uh, I think I would come out a changed person at the end of that, I would speak to David Goggins. If you don't know who David Goggins is, research David Goggins, he's an ex-Navy SEAL. He is a fitness freak, but most of all his strength comes from the mind. His story is absolutely incredible. He had a horrific childhood. 
Um, and by the age of 22, 23, he was extremely overweight. Um, he decided that he wanted to become a Navy SEAL. So he lost um, something. So he was weighing like 350, 350 pounds. And he got down to like 190 in like two months. He just literally starved himself and exercised seven times a day, something ridiculous like that. And then he had a successful and long career within the United States Navy SEALs. Um, and now he has written books he does ultra marathons, so he runs up to 150, 200 miles at any, at like in one go. Um, he's a tough, tough man, uh, incredibly tough man. I would like to pick his brain. I'd like to see what's going on there because he's an incredible human being. And I think we could all learn something from him. He, he's not very, he's not very calm individual in the sense that he swears a lot and, and, and he really gets his point across. And, uh, in what some might perceive to be a crude manner but I would love to spend an hour with him so those are the questions that uh, I had here to answer and let me see if I've got any more no that's it I'll tell you what though I do have some really interesting comments that I have to read through so what we can do is we can read through them uh, on, a, on a separate video and I'll answer some of the questions and respond to some of the comments. Uh, unfortunately, guys, I haven't had any, since my last video, I haven't had any people comment anything stupid down below that I can really tap into and make a funny video about, which is a real big shame. But in absence of that, I really have some good comments and some good questions in the comment section as opposed to on the YouTube page. So I'm gonna go read through those and answer them for you. Uh, and we can chat about them together. So have a fantastic day, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and thank you for your support. And I will see you on the next video, which I'm going to probably film right now, to be honest with you. So I'll see you soon.